Hey guys, so this week I built a spinner. And not your average spinner, not your Mach 7. I'm in my kitchen, you guys. I can't have a Mach 7 spinner. Um, so, but I wanted something like a Lazy Susan, but that spun automatically, but at a low speed and a speed that I could um, change as well. If I wanted to go faster, if I wanted to go slower, uh, whatnot. So I racked my brain and literally wanted to cry like seven times because I tried a lot of things. And I finally came up with, uh, I used a high velocity fan from my local hardware store. I cut off the blades. I drilled um, self drilling screws through the blades, attaching it to an 18 inch round uh, quarter inch board, maybe half of an inch or three eighths of an inch, I'm not really sure. Um, and I got the fan part to work. I have a lot of things I want to do with the Lazy Susan and it works. I mean, I could just spin it manually as well and it works just the same. But for some things that I want to do pouring, I don't want to have to keep turning and then working with one hand and then trying to figure it out. I want both my hands able to work on whatever I'm doing because I'm not that coordinated. So I made all that and then I attached it to a variable speed switch and a dimmer switch, I guess, and the rest is history. So let me um, bring you down. I'm going to do a, I want to do like a circular swipe with metallic colors and black is my base. And see how it turns out, right? Uh, so let me bring you down and show you this. All right, so um, this is like, A medium speed for it um, but then I can like turn it up to Mach 7 if I want but I'm in my kitchen so that won't be happening unless I go outside So we're going to be going at a slower speed today for what I'm going to be doing, for the swipe I'm going to be doing, and uh, see what happens. All right, so um, in the back, I have um, cut out the back of the fan so that I can attach the canvas to the round uh, board with a wing nut. Wing nut. I'm sure everyone knows what a wing nut is, but that's that. So 
Um, I'll show you in a second what I have going on. I'm gonna take this off for right now because I wanna put my black base down and tilt it and do all kinds of things and then put it back on the fan. There's my other wing nut. So I have two wing nuts. Then I have two holes in my board. My board attached to my fan. On the back, I have my canvas screwed into the board to keep it from moving. And then these screws that just go through the board that's attached to the canvas. And then I attach the wing nuts through the back of the fan to the bottom of this. I had to drill out a hole in the middle and a little one on the side to accommodate this screw hole and this big hole so that this would lay flat um, on the board when it spins. So yeah, there's my contraption. I'm gonna lay my black base and then reattach it to the board to the round board and then we will start to spin. And yes, for those of you who are back, um, I built myself a four foot by eight foot table as well this week because uh, it was just getting too much. It was not that it was too messy because I am still a mess, but um, the dried paint on the plastic was sticking to the bottom of my feet. And it was in my bathroom, it was in my bed, it was, wasn't even like wet paint that I'm like stepping in and uh, tracking all around the house. It was just all the dry paint. It was insane. So, um, I just went uh, to Lowe's while I was buying all the stuff to build my spinner and got a four foot by eight foot piece of like inch board. One inch thick board and uh, have them cut it in half so it could fit in my car. Um, and then um, came home and set it all up. So, Hopefully this is going to be amazing moving forward because um, so tired of paint on my feet. So this is a 20 by 20 canvas, I believe. Yeah, it is 20 by 20. 
Um, my idea works because you never know with these things or I never know I don't know maybe you guys are saying it's gonna work cautiously optimistic how's that This is heavy. Oof. Yeah. All right. Oh, the Benny isn't wearing the black shirt. gonna fly because I hope it doesn't I am doing that just because paint is dripping off the canvas and it's a 20 inch fan the outer diameter so I'm probably gonna have two inches hanging over so I, I mean the canvas is still dripping so uh, The logistics of this are not amazing, but we're going to figure it out. Again. Just like the uh, clipped together canvases, this is not a clean process, people. If you don't want to get dirty, this is not for you. Wing that one securely fastened. that too securely fast.
and he's in a black shirt again. Man. Nice. Yeah. See, this is what I like about doing these kinds of paintings. I don't have to worry about you moving. Or me tilting the canvas and getting out of frame, which is annoying, I know, for everyone. I mean, I could do this after. I probably should be doing this after because this paint is gonna dry in a jiffy. I can tell already. All right, let's turn her on. Get her started. Gotta give her a little nudge. Turn her up. So the, the interesting thing about this, or not the interesting, but the complexity of this is you never know on this variable switch how high up you need it to keep it going because it depends on the weight of whatever canvas you're putting on it is what I've found, whether it's a 12 inch canvas, 24 inch canvas. Um, but once it starts going, and the motion is in place. See, I had it at a switch that I thought it would stay going at. When I had it on the canvas before, but now that I've added paint, the weight's different. So now it's just gonna, She's gonna stay moving. I just might want her to move just a skosh faster. I think that's probably good for what I am going to do. So I have two metallic colors. Now, can you see the logistics of how turning this and holding it would be, I mean, not impossible, but I'm just not that coordinated. Right. So now for the tricky part. I mean, that's kind of cool just on its own, right? Now I'm gonna wreck it. So 
So, just got a paper towel, cut piece of paper towel, like that big. I don't know, maybe like an inch and a half or something. And I'm just gonna start in the center and swipe out. Oof, this is gonna be difficult because be able to touch up guys this looks pretty cool I don't even think I'm going to touch it. There's just so much going on in here. But I'm afraid if I even try to touch it, I'm going to ruin it. You like. Even the center is so cool. Yeah, there it is, uh, wet, you guys. I'll bring you in when it's dry. I love it, though. Hey, guys. Um, this has to be one of the coolest paintings I think I've ever done. Uh, I think it turned out amazing. The copper is amazing, shimmery, metallic-y. The silver turned out spectacular. I'm trying to stay out of the shadow. Um, that's the center. Um, trying to like, I mean, everything about this is just so cool. I think the silver, I put the crushed crystal magical mica in the silver and I think that did a lot to help that stay metallic-y. Um, maybe if I stay on this, my shadow won't be in it so much. 
Um, it just turned out so cool though. So I think I'm gonna be using that spinner a lot more uh, doing stuff. And I just have a lot of really cool ideas. So uh, if you wanna see more, click like, click subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.